Hello, my name is Amy. I'm the lead counsellor for Jess. So like most people, I'm really missing being at school. Now, we know that usually human beings come together at times like this, times of great stress and anxiety. But now we can't. We can't be with our friends and family in the same way that we would have normally. And this makes the situation even more upsetting, difficult. We know it's not going to be over quickly. We know that this will go on for a few more months. But there are things we can do that will make it a little bit easier. The first of which is accepting the situation. It isn't within our control. Fighting it or arguing about it, blaming, it, it will only cause more emotional distress. And it will only lead to other consequences that aren't so good, like procrastinating, not getting on with work. But if we accept that this is where we are, we can't do anything about it and move on to refocus our energy on what we can focus on. Not only will we be more productive, but we will feel a lot better too. So be honest with yourselves. Look at your emotions. What am I feeling? What's that from? Is there a thought behind it? Where am I worrying perhaps that I won't get to university or that I might have friends or family who are ill? Get that worry out in the open because that is the first bit to making it lessen, to making it just a bit more manageable. Then have a look at your own well-being. Where are you focusing your energies? Be honest. Are you doing enough work? Are you sleeping early enough? Are you eating the right things? These things are important. They make us feel better. But when we actually do something actively to take control of our own situations, we not only feel more accomplished, but the worry lessens. Focusing on things that we have no control over, that we can't change, will only make the worry worse and actually make us much less productive. So please, you know, I take a challenge to you. Have a look, what's one small snap you might do differently next week to be even more productive than now? And if you are really struggling, please talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, and talk to us counsellors, because we are still here for you.